Good afternoon. Today I'm going to talk about albatrosses. They are the largest seabirds in the world. There are 21 different types of species of albatrosses, and they divide into three categories. The first type of albatross is great albatross. The second type of albatross is molly marks. There are nine kinds of molly marks, 12 kinds of great albatrosses, and the last kind of albatross is sooty albatrosses, and there are two kinds of sooty albatrosses. Altogether, that adds up to 21 different species of albatrosses. Today, I'm going to focus on the great albatrosses, and they are the largest of all the albatrosses. Their wingspan is extremely large, ranging from 8 feet to 11 and a half feet. They can reach extremely high altitudes and fly in all different angles and directions. From below, they look like small planes. The great albatrosses diet is predominantly squid, though they do eat fish. Albatrosses are very polished flyers. They, smile, they fly very smoothly. Doesn't matter if there's a heavy wind, they're able to glide very smoothly. However, because of their wings, they are extremely awkward on land. It is difficult for them to take off and when they land because of their large wingspan. However, once they are in the air flying, they are very polished flyers. Male and females tend to pair up and they live together and they have one egg, one offspring. And they trade roles, trade responsibility, taking care of their offspring. One, doesn't matter if it's male or female, one will take care of the egg or the chick, and the other will fly and gather food. The albatrosses live, or great albatrosses live, in the South Pacific Ocean, and a group of scientists studied the albatrosses in a small island in that area. They put satellite trackers on their legs and studied their habits. Their discoveries were very interesting. They found that whenever albatrosses fly to gather food, they don't fly in a straight line. They fly in zigzags all over the ocean collecting food. Albatrosses, when they gather food, they don't dive for their food. They simply glide or fly along the ocean surface and pluck the food out as they see them. They fill up on squid and fish. And another very interesting discovery is that whenever, because they fly for long periods of time, they rest while they're flying. They have the ability to sleep while they fly. Albatrosses often fly for long periods of times around a few weeks before they land. Another interesting discovery about albatrosses and their flying habits is that though they gather food in zigzags, when it is time for them to come home, they fly in a straight line home. Their honing skills are very, very, very good, very developed. Once they land, they feed their chick through regurgitation. They will regurgitate the food that they had collected to the chick, and this food helps their chick to grow and become strong. Once the chick has been fed, then the male and the female will trade roles. One will take care of the chick and the other will go and fly to gather food. Again, it is very interesting how even though they fly in zigzags to collect food, they're able to make a straight line back home. There are a few threats that danger the albatrosses. One is fishing and fishing lines. Often a fisherman, when it catches a fish and it reels it in, an albatross will pluck it, but get caught or hooked on the fishing line and it drowns. Another threat is the fisherman's fishing nets. When an albatross dives for food, a fish, sometimes they get caught in the fishing net and they drown. Another threat, a danger to the albatross, 
is trash and plastic. There's trash and plastic all over the ocean surface and sometimes they mistake it for food and they will eat it however they cannot digest the trash or plastic and sometimes if you see a decomposed albatross you'll notice that in their stomach there is trash that they were unable to digest. Albatrosses are extremely interesting animals and they are very interesting to research. Thank you, Science Boss.